Good afternoon. Um, my name is Marta Hoffmann-Sommer, as Paolo has just introduced me. Uh, I work in the uh, Open Science Platform at ICM, uh, and I will present um, a new uh, uh, repository for open data that we are planning to launch very soon. Uh, just to, to say a few words about the current situation in uh, research data sharing in Poland, uh, you have already heard some things today about this. So, um, a Polish researcher who would like to share his data or her data uh, has the possibility of um, using specialized subject-specific repositories. These can be either international data repositories, some of them are well, very well established and have a long history. Uh, one example is GenBank, but of course you can have many others. Uh, there are also some um, Polish data repositories. I have listed one example. This is the Polish Social Data Archive. This is an initiative from last year. Uh, most of these uh, Polish data repositories are rather new enterprises, not as well established in the research communities, uh, but um, this is also a good opportunity. Uh, and of course, we would probably most agree that uh, a subject-specific specific, uh, specialized repository is the best option for most research data. Uh, it is the best way to reuse it later. But uh, there is al always um, some data that will not fit into any subject-specific repository that has no, uh, no repository that, that is appropriate. And uh, in this case, you would have to choose a general purpose data repository. So Polish researchers do uh, use uh, international uh, general repositories. You can find uh, their data sets in Figshare or Zenodo or some other places. Uh, but uh, in Poland, uh, there is no, uh, no data repository that has this type of general, general data that does not fit into domain-specific repositories. Uh, so uh, it seemed a natural extension of the, uh, of the, uh, of the services that, that are now offered by the Open Science Platform to uh, try and uh, launch a general purpose data repository in Poland. Our goal is to provide a platform for easy sharing of small research data generated in Poland by the long tail of science, so this is not a repository for big data, but just for individual scientists uh, or research groups that want to um, submit their data. Uh, we view this data repository as a service that is complementary to other services offered by the Open Science Platform. In particular, uh, we are already running a, a repository for scholarly literature and uh, it is well known in the Polish research community, at least a little known, uh, and um, we think that this would be a complementary service. Uh, what do we expect to achieve? So we hope to get some researchers to share data who would never have thought about it otherwise. Uh, we hope to stir some movement in the Polish research community and get more people to hear about data sharing, because as we have already heard today, uh, not so many people in Poland have heard about it. We hope that if we launch something here, we have maybe better means to uh, reach uh, the Polish research community than international repositories have. Uh, and we would also like to um, maybe uh, get some institutions to think about data sharing, like universities or research institutes. And so uh, we will prepare a free downloadable uh, research data repository package that could be used by Polish uh, scientific uh, units if they wish to launch local data repositories. So this will contain a Polish language uh, software based on Seekin, which we are developing now, and uh, as well as the legal and policy documents that would be necessary for running a research data repository in the Polish context. Uh, the software we are using is based on Seekin. This is an open source software that has been developed by the Open Knowledge Foundation and is now managed by the Seekin Association. Uh, as they describe themselves, uh, it is a data portal software aimed at national and regional governments, companies and organizations. 
And as you can see, the main purpose of this software is to enable sharing of public data and opening of public data. So for the, for the purpose of um, sharing research data, uh, we had to make some modifications to the software to make some extensions. Um, so uh, we have changed the metadata schema, which is built into Seekan in such a way that it is now uh, compatible with the requirements of data site, which allows us to assign DOIs to the data sets that are um, going to be deposited. Uh, and uh, in such a way that our metadata schema will be also um, uh, in accordance with the open air guidelines, which will allow us to make the repository open air compliant and to um, to, regis uh, to register it in the open air infrastructure and to connect it with the open air infrastructure. Uh, we have implemented a module that uh, allows the export of metadata through the uh, Open Archives Initiative protocol for metadata harvesting um, to make it more interoperable. Mm, we have uh, included a module that will allow automatic assignment of DOIs, digital object identifiers, <coughs> both for the data sets and files uh, deposited uh, in the repository. Uh, and we have included a um, step of um, a moderation step where we will um, where somebody from the repository staff will be manually uh, accepting deposited data sets before they go public. Since, uh, since we are uh, going to be assigning DOIs, uh, we would not like to be taking the data sets down after they go public, so we want somebody to have a look to see if this is research data at all. Uh, this will not be a quality check. It, was, it is just a, a step that will allow us to say this is not spam. Um, what kind of data will we be accepting in the repository? Uh, it has to be research data. Uh, this is very difficult to define, but it has to be in some way related to a research activity. And it will only be data that uh, the depositor is willing to make open. So uh, we will not be accepting closed access data sets into the repository. Uh, anyone can register and deposit data sets. We will not be making any formal checks if he or she uh, is a Polish scientist. Uh, we expect that these will be people who have some connection with Polish science. Um, uh, the repository will cover all research fields. Uh, it will accept all file formats. Uh, however, it, will not, it is not planned as a data registry where you could upload links pointing to data stored in different places, but it is planned as a place where, where you really store your data, so you will be expected to upload files. Mm, our licensing policy, um, uh, the, the person depositing uh, data will be able to um, uh, to choose a Creative Commons license for the files that are being uploaded. So this would be CC BY, CC BY SHARE ALIKE, or CC ZERO. Uh, if somebody is depositing code, there will be free software license that he could choose from. There will also be the possibility of not choosing any license. In this case, uh, the data is uh, made uh, mm, is made available under the conditions of fair use according to Polish law. So at least you can view it and cite it and so on, even if the user doesn't have really uh, broad reuse rights, at least you can see it. Um, there is the possibility of uh, giving a separate, different license for different files that uh, are in one data set. Uh, so it's possible that if you have um, out, um, I know, results from one uh, experiment or one type of research uh, experiment, but there is a, a certain file that for some reasons you cannot release under um, the same conditions as the others. You can still put it in the same data set and just give a different license for one particular file. And um, the third point is the metadata. Uh, metadata uh, uh, will be Mm, released under the CC0 license, so the rights will be waived to the extent possible. 
Uh, this is required uh, for the assignment of DOIs. This is a requirement of our DOI contract um, with the data site representative with whom we will uh, cooperate. Uh, and for simplicity, we have also decided that uh, the data set as a whole will be under the CC0 license. Uh, this means that uh, any rights that arise from the fact that you put files together and give them a title and make this into one data set, uh, if there are, for example, database rights that uh, arise at this uh, point, uh, you are obliged to, by submitting your data set to the repository, you waive these rights. This is for simplicity because it is even uh, complicated to um, to decide whether for a particular data set these rights exist or not. Uh, we have included some additional features into the repository which I would uh, uh, like to present. So um, we will be uh, presenting views and statistics for every um, data set in the repository so the user will see how many times his files were viewed or downloaded. Uh, there is file preview. This is an uh, inbuilt function of Seeken, uh, something that I like very much, that you can see what's in the data set uh, uh, before you download it. It's not just the title, you have also a small picture. Uh, we have included links to related publications in the metadata, uh, which should uh, um, increase the visibility of the data sets. We have introduced the possibility that you could uh, assign your data set to an area of study uh, like social sciences or biological sciences so that the repository can be browsed in such a way that you only look at social data if that's what you're interested in. Mm, and also uh, uh, the, the data sets can be tagged with resource type. Uh, and you can uh, add your data set to a group that corresponds to a particular university institute or so on. Uh, this is my almost last slide. So this is what it will most likely look like when it is finally launched. Um, I just wanted to mention here that we are uh, taking into account the fact that many people who will be using this repository will probably be uh, first time users who have never deposited data before. So we have included a lot of information that will help them understand why this is beneficial for them and how to do it and what they should uh, think about. Um, when preparing their data. And then finally, I would only like to acknowledge the contribution of the people who are involved in the project. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Any questions from Marta? Probably not launch it. Um, I, I wrote June, but this will probably be rather the end of the month. So any type of promotion and information campaign will go on only in autumn, not during the summer probably. Uh, so, um, well, yes, we assume there there will be a need for some training sessions, but the details have not been planned yet. <laughs> <laughs> 